WOSU's Curious Seabus answers your questions about our region, its history, and its people. We usually get questions submitted to Curious Seabus, but in this case, we got a tip. A viewer wanted to let us know that one of the greatest magic collections in the country is located right here in central Ohio. To learn more, we visited a local dentist with a few tricks up his sleeve. Hi, my name is Dr. Timothy Moore, and I've been interested in magic since I was 10 years old. And I started collecting the antique magic and these beautiful advertising posters for over 30 years. I also like the idea of finding uh, rare items that other collectors and other magic enthusiasts uh, have not seen. And it's just fun then to share with the magic community things that are gonna actually blow them away. This is uh, a poster from 1906. Harry Keller was, at the time, America's magician. And this particular piece, what he would do is, he had this beautiful woman that would come out on stage with the magician, and in, right in the mid part of the stage, she would instantly just disappear. And it was quite startling. He was actually uh, doing a rendition of the Mascot Moth, which was uh, a piece that uh, Maskell and the Band from London was performing at the time. And unfortunately, it wasn't quite as good as the guys over in London. And it was only in the show for about three months. So that's why very few of these actual posters survived. And it was a year after this uh, that Keller sold his entire show to Howard Thurston, who was a Columbus magician for a grand total of $5,000. And so Thurston then became America's magician up until he passed in 1936. This item was given to me by an old gentleman. His father was a young lad, was asked to go on stage in 1911 here in Columbus to see Howard Thurston. And he got to meet Howard Thurston backstage after the show. And Howard Thurston gave him this piece of magic equipment. It's called a pool. And you put a pencil in here and it's strapped to a piece of elastic that goes up your sleeve and around to the other side. And you can instantly make a pencil disappear. And his father told him that uh, this was his most prized possession. Everybody knows who Harry Houdini is. This poster is uh, from 1907. He came up with this idea of escaping out of a galvanized steel milk can. There are three known milk cans that we think belong to Harry Houdini, and they are all accounted for. I've got one, Copperfield's got one, and the American Museum of Magic in uh, Marshall, Michigan has the third one. This is uh, an image that is widely seen in magic circles, but there's only a couple of these posters that survived. Now, Harry Houdini came to Columbus many times. This is a letter from a Columbus, Ohio um, packing company, uh, 1916, and they're sending a letter to Houdini from the Keith's Theater. Harry Houdini, can you please escape out of this box that we're going to manufacture. And he did this a lot. He, they called it challenge letters. These are a couple pairs of handcuffs that belong to Houdini. We've got really good provenance on them. Came out of the Houdini family. And here's a picture of uh, Harry Houdini uh, in uh, later on in his life. And he's standing next to Harry Keller. Keller was kind of like his father figure because he had lost his father early in his life. And Harry Keller had him swear that he would never, ever do the bullet catch trick. And so Harry Houdini never did. I have incorporated the magic into the practice by putting all these stone lithography images in the office. We have something that's really unique that the patients can look at. And it just uh, takes the attention away from the dentistry a little bit. I do dentistry uh, every day, uh, I do the magic every day, and I feel like I'm the luckiest guy on the planet. Do you have a question for Curious Seabus? Head to WOSU.org slash curious to submit your idea. 
your question could become the next Curious Bus story.